Recently, the Coast Guard and other governing bodies have been talking about instinctive drowning response. There are, there are five signs that are distinct that help identify a person that might be suffering from IDR. The first one is their inability to call for help. The second one is their mouth is below the water. The third one is they cannot wave. The fourth is they can't control their arms. And the fifth one is their body is upright. When a person is suffering from instinctive drowning response, it doesn't necessarily always look the same. As a matter of fact, every person who's in the water experienced some sort of distress never has the exact same symptoms. So it's going to be important to look for the signs that are leading to the IDR response because in IDR it might last only 30 to 40 seconds which means you only have 30 to 40 seconds to respond to a person suffering with IDR. Their head is going to be low in the water with their mouth very very level to the water almost like the water's at this level and that's all you see. Their arms might be outright in the water directly like this all right, directly horizontal to the water. Their arms will be directly horizontal out in the water and their head is going to be tilted back with their mouth open. Their eyes are going to be glassy and unable to focus. And one key sign I want you to remember is it's instinctive for everybody when they come out of the water that they have here to move their hair out of their face and to get hair or water out of their eyes. If the person has water in their eyes and their hair is in their eyes, that is a key sign that they cannot move their arms, which means it's a sign of IDR because their arms are almost paralyzed out horizontally in this instinctive response to try to stay afloat in the water and their body will also be vertical, up and down, and they will not be using their legs at all. They will also be almost hyperventilating and, hyperventilating and gasping, gasping for air. You may be looking your friend, your sailor, directly in the face. They may be looking at you, but if they are not responding to commands, if they have no ability to move or make an effort to help themselves, you immediately have to call for an IDR, an IDR, IDR. This person is in trauma. We need to send a swimmer right now. Thus the reason that as soon as you have a crew overboard situation, we start by getting the swimmer ready.